My name is Mark Abney. I'm the peanut entomologist at the University of Georgia. I'm standing in a peanut field here in Plains, Georgia. This is actually a research plot of mine. It's a study where we're looking at southern corn rootworm and banded cucumber beetle, the rootworm complex in peanuts. Uh, there's been a lot of questions about rootworms the last two or three years. It seems like rootworm injury is becoming more abundant. Let's talk about risk factors for rootworms in peanuts. If you grow peanuts without irrigation, your risk of rootworms is very low. If you grow peanuts in Georgia and your soil type is predominantly sand, then your risk of rootworm is low. But if you grow irrigated peanuts and you have low spots in the field with heavy soil types, or you have soil like we have here in Plains, which is a heavy red clay soil, then you are at risk for rootworm. If you have a history of rootworm injury in the field, we need to be very careful and look at those fields to determine whether or not we need to apply insecticides for rootworm management. Now, when I'm coming into a field and I want to know if rootworms are present, the first thing I'm going to notice is the presence of adults flying around. There's two species of rootworms in Peanut and Georgia. We have the spotted cucumber beetle or southern corn rootworm, and we have the banded cucumber beetle. They essentially do the same thing when it comes to damaging the peanuts. The adult beetle isn't a pest. You'll see it flying around. We often see it in cotton fields feeding on pollen. It's not a pest of peanuts, but the adults lay the eggs in the field, in the soil, where the larvae will feed on the pods. So when we come in the field, if we notice a lot of adults, that's going to make me be alert to the fact that we may have a problem in the field, especially when we have heavy clay soil like this and it's wet. Okay. So when I'm coming in and I'm scouting peanuts, I'm going to come to this row and I'm going to look at this row. And if I was doing a regular scouting procedure, I would, I would beat sheet these peanuts or, or slap them onto the ground and get a count for caterpillars. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these plants back. I'm going to bend them back and I'm now looking for rootworm larvae. Okay. In this red soil, they're actually pretty easy to see. So what I like to do is pull some plants up and shake the soil off and then I'm going to go through this soil with my hand. We don't have to dig deep because they're, they're, remember they're feeding on the pods. They're not going to be real deep. They're going to be in the top couple of inches of soil. And when you look, these things, the larvae are bright white. They have a dark spot on each end. So there's a dark spot at the head and there's a dark spot at the end of the abdomen. So we're looking for those bright white larvae in the field. We're also going to be looking at the pods to see if there's any damage. Okay. Now, if you look at this, these peanuts are covered in red clay and it's very sticky. It's very difficult to see rootworm injury on peanuts that you pull up from fields that are red clay. We're going to wash some of these and then I'll show you and you can then see the injury. But it's hard as a scout in the field or a grower in the field trying to find the injury. All right, we got these peanuts on the tailgate now and you can see very difficult to tell if there's any insect injury because these peanuts are covered in red clay. I've washed some peanuts off. There is rootworm injury on the small pod there on the right and also the larger pod on the left. Both have rootworm injury, but this is basically invisible when the peanuts are covered in red clay.